so guys it's really simple but you need to remember two things the first thing is that all image file is not transparent only dot png file have transparency and also not all png file have transparency just like you see here both of these two file is png file but this one have a white background and this one have transparent background so before using on blender please make sure that your png file is transparent so let's do it so this is our default cube let's select the cube press x and delete shift plus a mesh let's add a new plane select the plane tap to edit mode let's rotate it 90 degree it doesn't matter what kind of size we have here it's totally up to you that how much width and how much height you want for your image so press s to scale then scale it on x axis as i am using leaf now type to object mode go to material tab then click on this plus icon then new to add a new material double click let's name it leaf now select the plane go to shading tab let's scroll these are our default shading nodes if there is nothing here you can click on this down arrow and select object then click on the plane then click on the material then select the leaf you will find your shading nodes now click on add then search for image texture now click on open and search your transparent image so this is my transparent png file so select open image now connect the color to the principal bsdf color and the alpha to the principal bsdf alpha now go to material tab then scroll down under setting tab there is option blend mode change it from opaque to alpha clip so now our image is transparent but it seems like our image is not properly placed so let's select the plane go to uv editing move your cursor to the right side scroll zoom press 3 to face selection then select the face now go to left side scroll zoom out press a to select everything or select like this go to right side then go to the bar then scroll click on the material preview now we can able to see that what change we are making so go to left side again select everything press on r to rotate let's rotate it you can already see one problem here that our texture is repeating so what's our solution here go to sharing tab again now in image texture node change it from repeat to clip see that problem is gone now let's go back to ev thing again go to left side select everything again r to rotate seems like we need to go on opposite direction s to scale y to scale on y axis s to scale x to scale on x axis so as you can see that our picture is properly placed if you want to make the picture is more small you can just press on s then scale it higher it's getting a smaller now let's go to layout tab let's go to render preview let's change the light press 7 top view let's add some light shift plus d shift plus d to duplicate now go to render properties we are in ev engine let's check if it works with cycle engine or not it seems like it's work with cycle engine too change back to ev so thank you guys see you on the next tutorial